So, we start off by um, just cleaning out uh, the excess grease around the cap and stuff. And I'm cleaning it around where the rim goes because I've had to use a sledgehammer once in a while to take them out. So this way it just makes it easier if you ever get a flat to take out the wheel. So after popping off the cap and checking everything is good. And I do check this on a regular basis, but I'm getting the inspection done. I, I need a safety on it. I refuse to pay them to do it. <laughs> so here I am. I have uh, grease nipples on there, and I just pop up, top up the grease, put the cap back on. That's it uh, for that side. Very easy and straightforward. Make sure when you're tightening up your. Um, your rims uh, cross pattern. So you tighten one, they go directly across, tighten that one, then go directly across and back and forth until you get all of them done. Just gives it a nice uniform and uh, way of uh, tightening it so you're not tightening one side too much and kind of crink, uh, bending the metal. I'm not sure exactly how to explain that, but um, this way it makes it all even, which is a lot safer. And uh, on the first part, you didn't see the, but I am using a safety stand just in case. Uh, don't you really need it because you have two wheels? I, I left one on, so if it does come down, I still have one wheel that will stay, uh, stand on. But I have it, use it. Better safe than sorry. Here I am just cleaning around there again. Way to take out the caps, I, I use just a rubber mallet and just tap it off, and then just put a screwdriver in there and pop it out. It's easy. And believe me, these nipples with the grease in there are amazing. It makes life so much easier. On my other trailers, I literally have to take the bearings out and grease them and pack everything back in. Yeah, I am uh, on the other side, just getting ready. What I didn't show you, um, I should have showed you on the other side, but uh, I will show you on this side, is to actually take the brakes apart to inspect it. And the reason I didn't do it on the other side is cause I just did that, uh, I don't know, beginning of the summer. Uh, so, but for to show you, I'm going to do it on this side. safety pin on the, on the wheel there uh, it has slotted slots so when you put the safety and this one here doesn't go straight through like some other ones it goes like on an angle and uh, you have to just line it up so the holes are exposed you just get a screwdriver and tap it and it comes out remember you never want these too tight because then it'll, it'll slow down the movement and cause more friction just tight enough that the wheel spins freely clean out all the dust and stuff just with air compressor simple as that there's the nipple I was talking to you about it's built right into the shaft amazing and uh, inspecting the brake pads they're all still a lot of meat on there there's no cracks it looks good checking all the springs make sure everything's okay looks good Okay, now we're here. I cleaned it up a little bit with uh, some blowing some dirt up. Uh, the brake pads look to be fine. Uh, what you want to check for is if you can see, uh, let me see if I can get it in there. 
Um, all right, there's four holes here. One, two, three, and four. If those are there, it's fine. And when that um, electromagnetic uh, brake pad wears out, the holes will disappear. And you want to make sure it moves freely back and forth. Um, what happens is uh, it's a magnet. So when the brakes are engaged, this pulls out and it slides forward, engaging the brakes. So everything seems to be fine. And then you want to check your drum. Look for any bluing or anything like that, or cracks or anything like that. This seems to be fine. It's still good. All right. So I'm gonna put this back together, and uh, that's it. And grease it up, and we're good to go. And like I was mentioning, that these here have these nipples here. I believe it's a six M, and it's great for. Um, you should take out the bearings every couple of years and clean them and re them properly. Uh, but uh, in, in between, uh, just to put grease in there, it's amazing. It's great. All right then, put this back together and thank you for watching.